Welcome to my video titled Deborah Milky Free on Bail by Carl Torstens with information from Paul Ewell and his blog. Paul Ewell is a friend and private investigator and a former Chicago police officer who has followed this case from the beginning. He's very intimately knowledgeable about this case. We all have heard the news that uh, Deborah Milky posted her bail and was taken to freedom by her attorneys. Needless to say, the legal team will look, have to work hard to exonerate her of the death row crime that's severely flawed with facts and procedural conduct that questions ethical conduct by many involved. Investigator Hubert states in his blog, I can't tell you how wonderful I feel about this right now. Milky will be eating food tonight and she's not tasted in decades. She will also shower and use the bathroom with total privacy and sleep in a real bed. She will quickly learn how to use a cell phone, perhaps an iPad, and establish an email account. She will shop for clothes and all those things women need in total freedom. The photograph of Milky driving away from the 4th Street Jail, or Durango Jail, I'm sorry. As you can see, the attorneys are very uh, elated as they drive away and take her to temporary freedom as the trial is not yet over. Milky will prepare to take on whatever Maricopa County Bill Montgomery and his star witness, disgraced Detective Armando Saldate, will throw at her. Next time Milky walks into the courtroom, we won't be wearing the black and white striped costume and chains. The public will see a dignified, alert, and well-groomed woman who survived a terrible nightmare of solitary confinement inside the Arizona prison system. This is Milky's first day of freedom since we first met, said Paul. She was booked for capital murder on December 3, 1989. One can only imagine how long ago that was. This was indeed a horrible crime that she did not commit. The truth is, County Attorney Bill Montgomery has run out of viable options to may finally fold or demand that his deputy prosecutors pick a jury and put on a case. Because of being involved in this case from the beginning, Paul said, because I knew what I knew personally, I could not simply stand by and watch this travesty or justice. I began a lonely campaign reporting the facts of this sad case to anyone and everyone that I could. People do not want to believe what I knew, that Milky was flawed and framed by a bad cop. The Milky case was very long, bumpy, and heartbreaking ride for me, Paul says. It's a matter of minimal time now before the prosecutor pulls the plug on this wayward prosecution life support system. The legitimacy of confessions is at the heart of this case. Oh, an Arizona woman convicted 23 years ago in the murder of her young son and of a judge's decision this week to allow her to go free from prison until she could be retried. Fact says the federal court system last spring overturned the conviction of Deborah Milky on grounds that a sole detective who heard her confession in a closed interrogation room had lied under oath in other cases, shedding doubt on the entire case. Her alleged confession was not recorded. She's not yet exonerated, but she will have a fair trial this time around. The whole practice of attaining confessions has received some black eyes in recent years as convictions of various kinds, murder, sexual assault, robberies, and so forth, have been overturned when confessions were later found to be false or coerced. The, now the top clock is ticking. It is now up to the criminal justice system in Arizona to bring justice back into the courtroom. And although Frey out on bail, she's not yet free. Deborah Milky has, still has a long, difficult road ahead of her. Her case will be based on the testimony of a cop that has been identified to be a liar and corrupt in many different ways. The crooked cop, Saldate, there's no telling what this man has done in his career that sent so many people to prison under his te false testimony. It is likely that when this trial is uh, finished, that the FBI or other federal agencies will look into color of law violations as well as ethical conduct by prosecutors. Amanda Sadate is a cop with an incredible checkered career. He escaped prosecution twice for felony extortion. He was suspended for five days for lying. So Adate claimed Deborah Milky confessed to him somehow orchestrated two men to murder her four-year-old son Christopher. That confession was the sole evidence that put Milky on death row. 
to adopt a, is a discredited, definitely corruptive cop. He had his own agenda, and in an age where police used recording devices to record confessions, he shunned away from documenting his interrogations on any form of electronic recording. His conduct is unacceptable in the law enforcement community. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeal found in a 60-page opinion that the court referred the entire matter to the Justice Department for an investigation of violation of Deborah Milky's civil rights by Saldate and the members of the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. So this case is far from being over. As always, I thank those who helped me, Private Investigator Paul Euler's blog, www.crimefilenews.com, and again, thank you for watching my videos.